episode two. I dropped my initial bombs and stuff, man. Previously, I'm saying from the first episode. So, you know, we got unbalanced work ethics between members. We got some people who have recommended us to very shitty shows with very shitty people. There was this one show, and, like, I'm very professional with, like, hostile crowds, with whatever type of crowd, because it's like, I love the music and what I do, for what I do, how I do. But, like, we was with, like, Dave Willett, and we was in this racist-ass drawing in Delaware, and type of shit like that, right? You know what I'm saying? And then it was this other time we went to this, like, shitty place, like, in fucking Derby or wherever the fuck it was. I'm like, the, the Crab Tavern, good God, what the fuck am I doing here? You know what I mean? Like, you get what I'm saying? So, like, yeah, it's, like, it's not in the best interest of people who have these destructive ideas that they're not capitalizing on. In between that, you got a guy named Wizzy Pro Dizzy. He throws a show at his restaurant. I leave, because at the time, I wasn't with, like, my wife. You know, we were just talking. So I leave. She stays. She says that the OG tells him, if you don't get your shit together, your people's going to leave you. They're going to leave you and stuff, you know? So that was something to, uh, you know, stay ahead of and everything else. Even on, like, the trips, like, going to New Jersey, like, you know, and, and, and this is something that fucks my wife up sometimes. I, I, I just got a motor. I got, like, a, like, a, like, a, like an Asian cyborg fucking I'll work 23 hours a day ass motor. You know what I mean? We ain't making no beats. We ain't getting no booking with you. RC, the producer, just sitting around, taking up space. And everything in between. You know? So, there was one show. We actually got a mulligan at the Air It Out Radio Showcase. Well, they did. I, I, I just wanted to rap. But, I guess a fire chick felt like that they needed to get another performance. So, they get another performance. This time, we're with Kiana Miller. And it's Enhan Soul. And it's RC the producer. You have one job, RC the producer. Look good. Look good. You had two females on your arms. You left them both right there at the show. You know? So I said, wow, that's a uh, conduct detrimental right there. Like, you know, how do you agree to meet two people that you end up dipping on? And this was like during Sammy's place and everything in between, you know? So, I mean, you had that going on, and I asked my wife at the time, like, well, I could talk, maybe to reprimand the situation. She's like, nah, man, just let him walk. Let him go on the walk, and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's um, basically what happens in that era. And that scope of the ball game. So you see, there are chances, and then there's accountability. Fuck with your boy, I ain't Kobe for episode three.